All right, everybody, welcome back. We're diving deep today into the world of lead magnets. Ooh, lead magnets. Yeah, these things are like- They're so cool. Little digital gold mines, if you know how to use them right. Absolutely. We're gonna be pulling wisdom from day 23 of this awesome 30-day challenge. Oh yeah, I was looking at that earlier. Yeah, it's got some seriously good stuff in there about building your audience. And for anyone trying to grow their business. Oh yeah, for sure. Lead magnets are essential. So let's just jump right in. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that really jumped out at me from this challenge, like, yeah. it talks about this pain point thing. Mm. And I get it, right? Like you gotta know what your audience is struggling with. Oh, totally. Yeah. You can't just throw any old freebie out there. Exactly. It has to be something that solves a real problem for them. Like it's gotta be something they're actually craving. Yeah, like that thing that keeps them up at night. Ooh, good one. Right. Like, if you can offer them a solution to that, you're boom, you've got yourself a lead magnet. Mic drop. So, the challenge gives us some classic examples. Oh, yeah, like what? Like ebooks. Okay. Checklists, mini courses. Those are the staples for sure. Yeah, but they're staples for a reason. I mean, they work. They totally work. But it's all about how you tailor it. Oh, for sure, for sure. Like, let's say you're a fitness coach. Okay, I like it. And your people. They struggle with staying motivated. Ooh, yeah, a lot of people struggle with that. Right, so you could create like a seven-day challenge. Ooh, I love a good challenge. Yeah, to get them pumped about working out. Get that energy up. Exactly. Oh, or maybe you're a financial advisor. Okay, switching gears. Yeah, and your folks are freaking out about taxes. Oh, yeah. Tax season is no joke. So you offer them a simple checklist. Oh, that would be so clutch. Right. Takes the stress out. And of they'd be so grateful. Boom. Lead magnet success. You got it. Now, the challenge also talks about this yeah. visually appealing landing page thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't just have amazing content. No way. You got to make it look good, too. Presentation is everything. It's like dressing up for a date. Ooh, I like that analogy. Right. You got to put your best foot forward. Got to make a good first impression. Exactly. But there's a whole science to this landing page thing. Oh, yeah, there's strategy involved. So tell me about it. Like, what are the secrets? Well, for starters, a killer headline is crucial. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It's got to grab their attention. Like a big, bold statement? Exactly. And then you want to test different versions. Wait, what do you mean by test? Oh, like A-B testing. Hmm. I've heard of that, but... So basically, you show different versions of your landing page okay. to different groups of people. So like one group gets version A and... Exactly, and the other gets version B. Oh. And you see which one performs better. So you can see what people actually click on. Yep. And then there are these cool tools like heat maps. Heat maps? Yeah. They show you how visitors interact with your page. Ooh. That sounds fancy. It is. You can see where they're clicking, where they're getting stuck. So you can make adjustments based on that data. Exactly. It's all about optimizing for conversions. Conversions meaning? Getting people to actually sign up for your lead magnet. Okay, cool. So it's super valuable. Gotcha. So let's say someone's on your landing page. Yeah. They love your offer. Okay. They click that beautiful call to action button. Boom. They're on your email list. All right. What happens next? Yeah, what then? We can't just leave them hanging. Oh, no, no, no. The fun is just beginning. So what do we do? Well, you got to have a plan. Okay, a plan for, for nurturing those leads. I like that. Nurturing? Yeah, you got to think of it like what? Like you meet someone amazing at a party. Okay. You don't just walk away and never talk to them again, right? No way. You want to keep the conversation going. Yeah, for sure. Get to know them better. See where things go. Exactly. And that's what a good email sequence does. The challenge mentions autoresponders. Oh, yeah. Those oh. are key. I know they can be super helpful for automating things. Oh, totally. It's like having a virtual assistant. So it sends out a series of emails automatically. Yeah, over a period of time. And each email is like another touch point. Exactly. Building that relationship. Okay, I'm getting the picture. Okay. We've got this awesome lead magnet. Yeah. A killer landing page. Mm -hmm. And a well-planned email sequence. Okay, so we've got our ducks in a row. But how do we actually get people to find this thing? Ah, good question. That's where promotion comes in. The challenge talks about social media, LinkedIn, your website. All great avenues. Yeah, but it can feel overwhelming. Like, where do we even start? Well, the key is understanding each platform. Oh, okay. So like... What works on Instagram might not fly on LinkedIn. Makes sense. So you got to tailor your message accordingly. So we shouldn't just be blasting our lead magnet. Oh, everywhere. no. It's more about being strategic. Okay. So tell me more about that. Think about where your ideal audience hangs out online. Gotcha. Like if they're all about visuals, 
Instagram's your jam. Show off a beautiful checklist. Ooh, yeah. Give them a sneak peek. But on LinkedIn, yeah, you got to be more professional, data-driven. Show them how it can benefit their business. Exactly. And of course, the challenge mentions paid advertising. Oh, yeah. You can really amplify your reach with that. So that's like social media ads and stuff. Yep. You can target specific demographics and interests. Ooh. So you're getting your lead magnet in front of the right people. Exactly. People who are already interested in what you have to offer. So you're more likely to get those conversions. Precisely. This is all sounding pretty amazing. I know, right? But the challenge also stresses the importance of tracking your results. Ooh, yeah. Can't forget about that. Like this isn't a set it and forget it kind of thing. Oh, definitely not. You got to constantly be analyzing and tweaking. So what are we tracking? Well, there are key metrics you want to keep an eye on. Like what? Like click-through rates, right. conversion rates. So we can see what's working and what's not. Exactly. And then you use that data to refine your approach. It's like a continuous feedback loop. I love that. You're always learning and improving. So we're not just creating a lead magnet. Oh, no. We're creating a system. Absolutely. It's a whole ecosystem. I like that. And speaking of improvement. Yeah. The challenge highlights one final crucial step. Ooh. Lay it on. You got to follow up with those leads. Okay. So... Even after they sign up? Yep. You got to keep providing value. It's like we're building a relationship. More than just an email address. Right. We're connecting with real people. Exactly. You've put in all this effort to attract them. Yeah. So nurture them, build trust, create a community. I love that. So to wrap things up. Yeah. A lead magnet is about so much more than just free stuff. It's a whole strategy. It's about attracting your ideal audience. Building those relationships. And growing your business. Couldn't have said it better myself. Awesome. Yeah. Well, hey, before we wrap up completely, mm. any final thoughts for our listeners out there? Oh, for sure. You know, as you dive into this world of lead magnets, yeah. remember, you're not just collecting data. You're uh, connecting with real people. Yeah. So treat their information with respect and always strive to create a win-win. I love that. <laughs> All right, everybody. Yeah. That's a wrap on lead magnet magic. Until next time. See ya.